making scrambled eggs, one of the first things you want to do is get the eggs and you want to crack them and put them into a different bowl. You definitely don't want to crack those directly into the pan. Um, main reason behind that is because you don't want it to start cooking. You want to get it all mixed up because these are scrambled eggs. You can put it in the pan, but then you kind of end up with some egg whites and different things like that in there as well. And you don't want to have... Also, if you crack it into a bowl like this, you don't want to have uh, the shells going to your soft, your pan that you're cooking it in. And if you do have a shell going in like that, you just kind of use the other shell to scoop it out and uh, go from there. Just that easy. I'm going to mix these up uh, really well. Um, like I said, you don't want to have a bunch of uh, egg whites. We're making scrambled eggs, so we want them pretty much mixed up before we even get them in the pan. Otherwise, you'll end up with chunks of egg whites, and you don't want that. So the best way to cook these non-stick skillet over like uh, medium low heat, uh, you don't want the heat really high on this, and we're going to go with two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to keep it really simple. Um, simple is always better. And I got to tell you, normally I put milk, I put heavy cream in these. I figured out this is like the best way to do it is, is butter. So basically we want to get this all spread around. Once it starts to kind of bubble up and foam a little bit, we're going to add our eggs in. So we've got it foamed up. Now we're going to add in our eggs. And we're not really going to do anything with them. We're going to let them sit there. And we're going to be watching, monitoring the edges of the pan to see when it starts to curl up. So when it starts to curl up around the edges, that's when you want to start doing this with it. Just moving it back and forth. Moving it back and forth. Get those eggs nice and scrambled. At the same time, you're going to add in your other butter and have that get all melted and creamy inside of it. Just like this, how to make the perfect eggs. Butter is the key, key ingredient. And then the other key thing is this. How they look right now, just a tad bit runny. They're going to continue to cook, and this is when you want to remove them. And that's all there is. Well, there you have it. Ooey gooey, creamy eggs, perfect, light, fluffy. Don't have to add creamer, don't have to add milk, just butter. Does it right every time. Now I'm going to go and enjoy these. See you later.